Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dr. Twisted's Toy Time. I am here with my weekend openings video. Opened up some cool figures this past weekend. I'm doing things different this week because I still have a couple packages. I got some like clearance items off Amazon and a couple things off eBay. And I got a shirt off to move, but I'll do that when everything comes in. But today I wanted to do the video of the figures I opened this weekend. The next weekend I got some bangers. I'm looking forward to opening those up, but I wanted to have like all the really cool stuff. I think anyway, like right before Halloween, although I do have some really good stuff today, so let's get started. All right, first off, I opened up the BK Adams Family figures I got, this Cousin It, which is cool, it's a little wind up, and he goes too, <laughs> so I love the Got little details on his hat. I don't even know if you can see that. But I believe. I don't know if that's flowers or what that is. I think it might be flowers. Something. A little tiny design going all the way around the red band I think that's cool and uh, Gomez here which is cool he's got a feature like his hands look like they're snapping his fingers so when you move the lever it's like he's snapping his fingers pretty neat little features I like how they're doing some cool toys lately I mean, Burger King has these, and then Wendy's has the little, like, Frosty Cups. I didn't get any of those, but my friend did. He got the whole set. They're pretty neat. I also opened up this Gremlin. It's supposed to be all die cast, but it's weird because the arms and the head is like a rubber painted metallic. But it's supposed to be all metal. So they lied to us. Still a cool figure. I really I really like this gremlin here. Love me some gremlins, so I had to pick it up. On the on the hunt for Spike now. Also from that I got from Five Below last weekend. And also from Five Below. I got this Beetlejuice, which they fit perfectly with the um, old school Beetlejuice figures. They're pretty much that size. I know these are the cartoon versions. Him and Lydia. We didn't get a Lydia last for the original ser series, so this fits perfect in with those. So I'm happy to add these to my collection. Let me see. All right. Finally opened my Darth Maul Black Series figure. I've got a lot of Darth Maul figures, so I kind of liked them in the package. The package art was cool, but he needed to come out. I didn't really have any Darth Mauls this size, except one where he's looking through like, uh, binoculars. But he wasn't really a figure. I think it was only his arms moved up and down. But this is a really cool figure. I dig it. This is a Sith Saber. Comes apart in the middle. And you can have two sword or sabers, not swords. <laughs> but I love the details on his paint. His tattoos, I should say. 
Now all we need is we need a Darth Maul with the spider body. That has to be done. Make it happen. I need that figure. I might just do a custom of it, but... All right. Let me do this figure here. I picked up this guy last weekend. The Spawn... Medieval Spawn, I believe. I think that's what he's called. I don't know, I already put the box away. But, uh... These things are awesome. And the details. This is the deluxe version. It came with this really cool double blade sword and this other sword here. He also came with this big staff. I like how he's got the Spawn logo on it. And it's got a little like, dragon art. I don't know if you can see that. On the bottom of the blade there. And the detailing in the staff it's like little dragon scales or whatever. And it's got a little needle. Very cool details in these. Not many paint apps though. Todd really doesn't like to do paint apps for some reason. But the detailing is really cool. I love that dragon in the blade there. And then the this part, it's like a dragon head too. And it looks like the dragon tail feather and some more of that intricate detail in the handle. I love this weapon. I have to figure out somebody to hold that one. But yeah, the details in this thing are awesome. You got like the face back here. There's faces on the armor and Faces on the knees. Like, that is so cool. Like, all the detailing in the armor. Love the face on the chest. And the new, like, head design. Which has another face on top there. Very cool figure. Legs are a little loose. Not gonna lie, but I'm happy that he came with a stand, otherwise he'd probably be falling down all the time. Alright, moving on. I'm starting to build my Justice League Dark team, which I've had several of these figures for a long time in the box. Like this dead man here. This was from the Icon series like way back. I believe I got this guy from Hastings. When I was living in Arkansas. That was. Seven, eight years now. Can't believe it's been that long. But. He comes with this little like. Uh, ghost piece. Which makes him look kind of. Creepy when you put it on. He's starting to rise up out of his, his self in his spirit form. But I kind of like him just like this. I have a different version of him as a skeleton. He's already on display with some other figures. But I wanted to open this one and check him out. He's an awesome little figure. I really like the detailing on him. He's smaller, but he fits great with my other figures. And since he's an acrobat and all that stuff, it makes sense for him to be smaller than Etrigen the Demon. I love this figure. This thing is so cool. In the armor. I have a couple different demon figures, but 
This is probably my fave now. Really love the detail on this armor. You've probably already seen this figure already. It's been out for a while, but goodness, this thing is beautiful. Such an amazing figure. <laughs> Comes with this awesome sword. I love the spiked gauntlets. Very cool. Very cool. Etrigen the Demon. One of my favorite comic characters. One of my favorite openings. I'll save that one for last. <laughs> I will show off this one. Finally opened my G.I. Joe Trouble Bubble. I put um, this helmet on him. Or this face, head. Comes with three heads. But I just really love the... Um, good look at that it's almost like cyborg or looks like he's got like the night vision goggles on I just really dig the look of it but yeah this thing is so cool I love how you can do the missiles and the gun here and it comes with one of the mines which is neat because you can plug it into back here if you really want to maybe if it'll let me it's not letting me right now of course it's not letting me right now but it's got a little plug right here on the back of the gun and you can plug your little mine into it but this thing is so tiny <laughs> it's like the vintage one is like three times this size but it's really cool. It makes more sense to be small where you just drop it onto somebody. Drop it on the Joes. But this thing is so cool. I always love the trouble bubble. I have two different versions of the vintage one. I have the regular one like this. And then I have like a gray camouflage one. It's like the second release, I think. Very cool piece. It's got the like straps to strap him down in he also comes with his gun you can grab onto the, the little handlebars here this thing is just amazing i want to figure out some way to hang it from my ceiling very cool piece happy to have that in my collection but he also comes with the the normal head which was hard for me not to display him with this one but the memories as ch from childhood but uh, that new helmet just really spoke to me and they also came with the black head black head the african-american head i should say black head sounds too much like a zit all right now the final piece in my collection is Old Swamp Thing here. This thing is amazing. Now this is uh, very cool because he comes with Unmen. I know when I was hunting him down, I got him so long ago. I think I got him for 35 bucks. I don't know what he is right now, but I got him way back in the day. And I thought $35 was expensive. But most of them on eBay they're like mint in package but missing the unmen cuz everybody wanted these unmen and I needed to have the unmen so I waited until I could find one with these amazing unmen very cool little creatures I'll show off the base here Base has amazing details in it. It's got this skull and part of a like a spinal column over here, and this dead tree, and it's got little mushrooms on it, and it's all 
fallen and busted down over here. Very cool. Shoe. This figure is insanely detailed. It's like every little vein is painted. I know my friend and I were talking because he's got like the McFarlane Swamp Thing. He's like, the McFarlane's has a lot of detail, but barely any paint apps. They look cool, but I mean, this one, all the little flowers are painted. The little, what was those, like sweet potatoes or something? They kept feeding Abigail. Got the little mushrooms on there. You look in, and you get all like the little pitting and everything, but there's like three different shades of green. Like dry brushed over it. Such a cool piece. And the elbows and the knees, it's like that uh, skin. It looks like they don't have any articulation, but they do. It's just no pegs, no nothing. It's so cool looking. But it does, you do see the split in the head and the uh, hips and the shoulders here. But still just very cool to not have any little things in the knees and the, the elbows and the eyes I don't know if you got I don't know if it comes across but those eyes are intense Swamp Thing has always been one of my favorites I have like every comic series except for the one vertigo one I think it was his daughter that was the swamp became the swamp thing or something but I was jobless at that during that era so I couldn't afford the comics so I missed that series but I have all the other ones complete this was really cool he came with this little uh Swamp Thing personal journal property of Dr. Alec Holland and it's awesome it's got like a like a photograph it looks like it's paper clipped to it and there's like burn marks on the little notes and a little post-it note down here and I don't know if you want to pause that and read it if you want to but it's just like a thick cardstock one sheet to look like a little journal note I just thought that was a really neat touch and this thing is super cool too I mean the box was cool the box had like slits in it and you could see like the face behind it peeking through but this face is amazing I'm gonna hang this on my wall it's, getting, it's almost like a paper mache but you pop it open and it has this part here where you can see the eyes and the teeth and then you can see the figure in the background where the figure held was held in but it's just super cool I mean they went all out with this swamp thing here and that is just amazing so cool I'm swamp thing woo yeah that was some fun figures I got a few Halloween in there started my Justice League Dark which technically is kind of Halloween I guess because they do the supernatural stuff I think the only human type deal was uh, the G.I. Joe trouble bubble I mean dead man was technically human but he's long past Darth Maul, although not human, humanoid, but some uh, fun figures to open and put in my collection. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. Help the algorithm and stay tuned for next week because, like I said, I got some bangers. I got some fun ones I've been waiting to open and some I forgot I even had and we're buried <laughs> it's 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to opening those, the Halloween special. Since we got one more weekend before Halloween. Can't believe this month is going by so fast. It's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.